In this video, we are going to see how to connect our fast API with react application and AWS S3. This is what we are going to make today where the user can choose a file, upload, click on the upload button and the file will be uploaded to the S3 bucket. If the user clicks on the get files button, it is going to list all the files that are there in the bucket. So if you see right now, there are no files in the S3 bucket. Let's upload one file. On the console here, you can see the name of the file getting printed and now the now the message saying file upload ha uploaded has been printed here. If you go to the S3 bucket, you can see that the file has been uploaded here. If the user clicks on the get files button, it is going to print all the files that are present in the bucket. Let's look at the code now. Before we move to move on to the code, uh, the video is meant to all the users who have prior knowledge on React, Fast API as well as AWS. If you look at the file structure over here, I have a folder say which says upload to S3. Inside that folder, I have a React application called as frontend. In the same folder, I have uh, the backend code, which is the fast API code in the main.5. In the key config.py file, I have the AWS keys, which you can retrieve from your AWS account. Let's look at the main.py, which is our fast API backend code. These are all the libraries, libraries that are getting used inside this code. Uh, for AWS connecting our AWS S3 to our Python application, we are going to use the library called as Boto3. The object has been created like this and the keys have been passed so that they know which whose account AWS S3 has to be accessed. Specifying the name of the bucket. This is the setting up the cores of the React application. Proper middleware has been inserted as well. This is the this is the simple home page or the uh, URL of the fast API, which we're not going to use for this particular video. Let's move on first to the upload functionality. This is the upload functionality, which is triggered when the user clicks on the upload button on the front end react application. It comes over here and this particular function is triggered. This particular parameter checks whether the file has been uploaded or has, has been chosen by the user. If the file exists, it will print, which we saw in the console. And we can, we are using the S3, S3 upload file obj, the file object function, which is given by the S3 uh, to upload the file to the AWS S3 bucket. The parameters that we are passing is the file, the bucket name, and the name of the file. Once that is done, we get the message that we saw earlier on the console which file is uploaded. If not, it will simply put the error message saying that there is error in uploading. This is this is the uploading functionality. Let's move to the retrieving all the files from the bucket. When the user clicks on the get files button, it is redirected to here, which is a get request. Earlier, it was a post request. Now it's a get, get request. We can simply use the list objects uh, function given by the S3 and give the name of the bucket with whose data that we want to retrieve. Once that is retrieved, we return the response back to the front end application, which is in which is written in React. Let's go to the React application, which is here in the front end folder. Go to src and the app.js. To retrieve and to make uh, API calls, we are going to use Axios, which is a, a React free, a React library. We have mentioned all the necessary data structures that are required for choosing the file, for listing all the files and the items that are retrieved from the bucket. Let's move on to the bottom where the user can trigger the functions. So this is the part where the file is chosen. Once the file is chosen, so the handle file change functional function is called. Let's look at that function now. 
this is the function that is getting used so it, it, it is selecting the file uh, which is just one file at a time when the user clicks on the button uh, the handle upload function is called which is this particular function in this function we are using a form tag in which we choose the file get the name of the file which is getting printed and then we make a access post request to the fast api url and the function that we need to call at the backend we pass the data that we uh, use that we uploaded in this case it is going to be the file we get the response and then we try to print the response if there is if there is an error we get the error as well in this way we send all the data that is taken from the front end back to the back end and then it is processed using s3 and uploaded onto the s3 similarly if we go back and check the button to get all the files the handle files function is called let's look at that function so this particular function uh, makes a get request to the fast api server and it calls this particular function once that function is called we get the response and we set the files to the variable that has been defined earlier in the react application which is over here once that is done we try to choose we try to get that data and try to display it for that we are going to use a map function we map the function and take each of the file and then we list it as an item based on the index values and we just print the name of the key which is the name of the file in this way we are able to we are able to list all the items in the bucket from the front end which is the react application this is a simple use case of connecting your fast api with your react application and uploading a file to the aws s3 if you like that's it for this video if you like our content please like share and subscribe thank you